Hello friends, in this video we are going to implement dependency injection using simple injector in ASP.NET MVC. Now before jumping to simple injector, we'll discuss few things about dependency injection. Dependency injection is a pattern or you can say it's a technique by which you can create loosely coupled applications. In dependency injection, instead of creating the instance of dependency independent class, we basically inject the dependency into dependent class through constructor. Thus, moving the responsibility of creation of dependency instance is moved from the dependent class to some other module. So by this way, the dependent class doesn't know much details about the dependency, thus creating a loosely coupled application. So the responsibility of creation and injecting the dependency is done by a dependency injection framework such as simple injector. So we are going to see what is simple injector. So simple injector is an open source dependency injection DI library for .NET. Simple injector is easily integrated with frameworks like ASP.NET Web Forms, ASP.NET MVC, ASP.NET Web API, WCF and many more. You can install simple injector to your application from NuGet. Install simple injector.integrated.web.mvc package from NuGet for MVC applications. Similarly, for Web API, you can download Web, web API package from NuGet. The simple injector is simple to use and very fast compared to other DI libraries. Now, there must be question in your mind, why simple injector? So, I have listed down some points which I have picked it from simple injector official site. And let's see what are these points. So, it's free and always be free published under MIT license. So it's basically open source and free to use. So you can download it and use it free. Simple injector is highly optimized for performance and concurrent use. Simple injector is thread safe and log free design. Simple injector has great support for generics and use lot of things of generics than any other dependency injection libraries. Simple injector is amazingly fast, which is very important. And simple injector is developed using modern proven development practices such as TDD and solid design principles. This is also very important because nowadays we need to have application which is TDD supportive. Now the important links. So this link is basically official site link. So if you go to the Google and search simple injector, the first link comes up is the link of official website. So you can go there and have more information about simple injector. Important aspects of simple injector. So what simple injector has and how it works to support dependency injection. Simple injectors main type is the container class. An instance of container is used to register mappings between each abstraction and its corresponding implementation. So you can imagine a container like a dictionary or a bucket where you would register your dependencies and then the container will be responsible for creating the object and injecting those dependencies as you request them. You can see container as a dictionary where type of abstraction is the key and each key's related value is definition of how to create a particular implementation. You should typically create a single container instance for whole application. Container instances are thread safe. Registering types in container instance should be done from one single thread. Requesting instances from the container is thread safe, but registration of type is not. So basically when you register your dependencies to the container, that should be done from a single thread itself. And you can request the instances from the container in different threads. Creating and configuring a container is done by creating new instance and then registering services to container as shown below. So in the below screenshot, you could see I have created a new instance of the container. Then I have registered I customer repository abstraction or you can say interface and its actual implementation that is customer repository. The instance creation and configuration of container should be done in application on start event in global.asx page of the web application project. 
Now let's move to the application and we'll see what we have in this application. So I've specifically created this for Simple Injector and the name of the application is MVC Simple Injector. So in this application, I have infra folder where I have created a customer repository. So this repository has a single function and that is get customers. So this repository, instead of connecting to the database, I have created a hard coded list of customers. So this list of customers is basically your database itself. And then I have a I customer repository interface. So this interface is implemented by customer repository class. Then under model folder, we have a customer class, which has three fields that is ID, first name and last name. Then in the controllers, I have a single controller that is customer controller. And I have set up this controller to support dependency injection. So now this controller has an action method index. And on this index view, I'm going to show the customers, which will be fetching from the customer repository. So in this case, I need to have instance of customer repository so that I could get the customers. So instead of creating the customer repository instance in this class, in this dependent class, that is controller class, I am basically accepting the dependency object into the constructor of this class. And this dependency would be passed to this controller by the simple injector. I have to do nothing about that. Simple injector is going to handle that. And that dependency, I'm going to set it to a private variable and then I'll use that object to get the customers. Now comes the final part that is global.asax where we have configured our container. So first thing is to create the instance of the container which I've done. So I'm creating a new instance and storing it into container variable. Then I'm registering my dependency. So my dependency is customer repository. So I have given its abstraction class that is interface, I customer repository, and then also specified the actual implementation that is customer repository. So when you register it, you give interface and actual implementation. And in the controller, you could see I have accepted type of I customer repository. So the container, what it does is it checks what implementation is there for I customer repository that implementation would be passed to this controller. So you, you notice one more thing like this is of type interface I customer repository. So in that case, you can have multiple implementation of type this interface. So this also helps in TDD. So testing your controllers. So by this way, it creates a loosely coupled application. Now the third thing is basically registering your MVC controllers. So register MVC controllers, what it does is whatever the controllers which implements I controller, I controller interface are present in the current assemblies would be registered to the container. So what happens in all the containers, whenever you accept a particular dependency that would be passed by the container to that dependent class. So for that, this register MVC controller is important. And then the last part is basically setting the resolver by calling a function that is simple injector dependency resolver and passing the configured container to that method. Now, everything is set. We have configured, we have created and configured our container as well in application start event of global.asax. Now I'm going to run this application and we will see that the simple injector would inject this dependency into this dependent class. So let's wait for debugger to hit. Okay, so debugger has hit. Now you would see this repository instance is being passed and the private variable is set. Now the index method would be called and the customers would be fetched and shown on the UI. So you could see we are able to see the customers on the UI. So this is how the simple injector is injecting the dependency into this controller dependent class. So this is what dependency injection is. Now there's one more interesting thing about simple injector is so instead of uh, 
accepting the type of this i customer repository i can accept the entire container class that is also fine okay so there could be scenario like you have multiple dependencies uh, which you want to use in this controller class so in that case instead of specifying multiple dependencies uh, as a parameter you can accept the entire container object so by this way the entire container would be passed to this controller constructor and then you can read your specific dependency by calling get instance method and just specifying the type of interface and based on the interface its actual implementation would be set to this customer repository now let's see if that works or not so you could see the entire container is passed and then we will be accessing a particular implementation okay the customer repository is set now the index method would be called and the results would be shown on the ui so this is how simple injector works and helps us to implement dependency injection and to create loosely coupled applications and you must have noticed that it is pretty simple to use and you can even pass the entire container around your controllers so this is all about simple injector and how you can use simple injector to implement dependency injection i hope you like this video thank you friends